Hey guys, listen, I'm going to hit a question that we get a lot when we're doing seller finance deals. That's what this is about. Here's the question. What is a balloon? What is a balloon period? So listen, this idea of, or this question about what is a balloon period, that's what I wanna talk with you about. Now, this is all about seller finance deals, all right? So let's put this in the right context. So when we're doing a seller finance deals, which go by contract for deed, land contract. So of course, it's just like what it sounds like. That means that the seller's providing the loan. You're not going to a bank, the seller's gonna give you the loan. They're gonna do a contract for deed or a land contract. So one of the key terms in doing a contract for deed is what is the balloon period? First, different types of loans, right? We've talked a little bit about this in the past. I've talked about recourse loans for commercial real estate, non-recourse loans for residential real estate. On a recourse loan for commercial real estate, you have a maturity date. It's kind of similar. That means that typically when you go get that commercial loan and it's going to have a, they say, well, I don't understand. Why does this have this five-year maturity date? What does that mean? And typically, guys, what that means with a commercial loan is that at five years, the lender has the right to say, we're gonna keep going or you're done. Maybe you've had a poor payment history. The lender has the right at that point to pull the plug on you or possibly reset the loan with different interest rates or different terms. That's a maturity date. A balloon, kind of similar in the sense that we have a deadline coming. There is a hard deadline. That's the end of the balloon period. What does it mean? It means, let's say for instance, it's a five-year balloon, 60 months from the closing date. 60 months later, five years, that borrower better be ready to take out that seller note. That's what it means. Well, what do you mean take out the seller note? Yeah, you better be coming with some deep pockets of cash and paying them off, or you better be ready to have a lender coming in to put new debt in place, a new loan to take out that seller, because that seller has just given you a loan for the past five years or so. That's the balloon period. When we're structuring these deals, and that's the beautiful thing about doing, well, I love deal making, that's why I'm in the business I'm in, and figuring out these deals, and seller finance deals are just really enjoyable because I can take each party, buyer and seller, and I can structure the deal to work for both parties, and I get to have lots of variables that I can play with in there. And of course, the balloon is one of them. And so many times we're looking and saying, should it be a three-year balloon, five-year balloon, seven-year balloon, 10-year balloon? There's any number of ways we can look at this. One of the key things that we're making sure of though is that we don't do something too short. So oftentimes we don't do anything less than two years because two years is the seasoning period. Two years is how long typically a lender is satisfied with saying, show me the income, show me the expenses, how has the asset been managed over these past two years? Are we comfortable with taking in and giving you a new loan on this? And that's the seasoning period. So generally, I will advise our clients to say, make sure you do at least two or three years. And by the way, two or three years goes by really fast when we're doing these deals. And so it's like, I can't believe it. My balloon is already coming due. Because you guys, you wanna get about a year ahead of this. So if it's a five-year balloon, you should really be thinking about talking to lenders or talking to the seller, right? Think about that for a second because there's a balloon period coming due, but might the seller say, Jim, I love working with you. You've been great on your payments. This is working out swell for me. I don't need all the money right now. I'm happy taking this income stream. Let's keep it going. I will extend and give you a new balloon period for three years or five years. So those are our options, taking it out with cash, bringing in a new loan, maybe the seller extends this balloon period. So guys, that's what this balloon means when we're working through these contract for deed, land contract deals. So now you know, because many people are like, I don't know what this balloon thing is that you're talking about, Mark, but now I hope you do. Listen, anything I can do to help explain something, I would love to do it. I love teaching, I love training. So reach out to me, I'm marketresultscommercial.com. Uh, and of course, the website is resultscommercial.com. We are results in real estate. So we love talking about investing and brokerage and the whole real estate industry, you name it. We've been around this for so long, but we still love it. A lot of passion here. So thanks for joining me today. I sure appreciate it.